This is Chippy with uh, CarryPad and UMPC Portal. We just had a hands-on demo with uh, Migo 1.0 tablet experience on a Morristown platform with a capacitive multi-touch touchscreen. Watch this, it's actually quite impressive. For you were looking for ARM, um, is he with you? I have my done. Yeah, you can have it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You can. You can. Okay, so we're in the lobby. Till later. So yeah, later. I'm with Doug. Yeah, I'm with Doug. Yeah. I'm just walking okay, around. Oh, you know, I want to go through Migos. I'm sure I have it. Oh wow! This is a handheld UI, uh, tablet UI, first time ever seen. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Um, it was good. No, okay. Yeah. Can you give us a demo? I, us I can give you a quick demo, yeah. So, let's start here. You guys swimming now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, we're going to start here. This is the uh, simple mode. This is uh, basically the, the easiest way to access your apps from the icons, right? And um, we have another, another way to access our information. This is a more personalized, dynamic, rich environment for users where they have access to their, their own content. You know, their own music, own playlists, their own books they've downloaded, their middle of reading. Here's my slate, a panel where you've got information about your settings, the apps you've got installed, your web pages. Um, this is your friends panel where we've got you know, your Facebook feeds and Twitter feeds. This is uh, videos. Custom Again, customized to your your videos, just photos, your own photos. So this is basically what we call the panel mode of Migo, with a rich environment. And this is based on Migo 1.0 with like a, a new UI experience on top, basically, right? Uh, right, correct. This is called the handheld UI or the tablet UI, because there's a handheld UI which has been talked about for even smaller devices. This is what we call the tablet user tablet experience. experience. Yeah. So this is the first time you've ever demoed or talked about this even, so uh, that's interesting. And running on a Morristown platform here, or uh, Mendeley? That's right. No, it's a Morristown platform, Morristown. absolutely, yeah. Morristown platform. And we've got a few core apps, Migo core applications here. And I'm going to start with uh, video player. And were these all from App Up, or these were just, these are going to be preloaded? No, these are core apps, so part of the uh, part of the user experience. So this is basically the the music player landing page where you've got your videos, your TV programs, movies, and uh, I'm going to run a clip here of Avatar. We've got loaded. It's 1080p capable with the platform, right? This is platforms is 1080p capable. This is a this is a 720p um, clip here. Because of the size of the screen resolution, sure. we're running a 720p clip. This is 1080p capable. Is that more stand based? It is a more stand based, yes. You got any uh, feel for the product battery life on, on, on this yet? Or still need to tweak yeah, it down? Yeah, things need to be tweaked. This is obviously just an engineering sample. Uh, so. For a so demo. So this is going to uh, be kind of always on enabled. Um, so similar to something like an iPad, where when you switch it off, it's not off. It's still it's gonna connected, be and it's going to be a fast boot. Sorry, fast boot. Fast, fast boot. So not always on in this iteration of Migo. Oh, is the Migo? Yes. Yes. Oh, really? Interesting. Looks nice. Oh, no, sorry. Yes, nice. This is the photo viewer. So where you keep all your photos. You got the albums here. Can we get that multi-touch demo that he did during the keynote as well? Yeah, we will. So you got some pictures here. This is Nature's album. You pick one of the pictures and you're able to Multi-touch support. Multi support and zoom in. It looks nice and smooth as well. Yeah, yeah it is very snappy. How about battery? Very much unlike Windows 7 multi-touch on a, yeah. a 1.6 gigabit Saturn. Actually, what what is this running at the uh, CPU on this? More stand. This is this is a 1.5 gigahertz. That's up to 1.5, right? Yes. yes. Turbo boost. Yeah. yeah. What's the nominal clock on it? Or I couldn't tell you actually on that. So 
how about the battery? The battery is about uh, so this is a, this is the app that we uh, use to kind of demonstrate the five touch capability. Battery is going to be roughly six hours. Depends on what the, That's what I've heard. The browser browsing and media is different. Yeah. So this is where you're going to have your your apps that are made multitasking your apps that are open here you can kind of hide this open this and so the weight of that uh, product there is that, what's the weight of it the weight you know it's really i've heard I'll one kilo okay. so about uh no that's under a kilo that's about 800 grams and it's got this really nice maybe less is that really like the actual hardware as well so it's a capacitor screen right yeah um, this is no this is a resistive screen oh, this is a resistive, resistive wall, really? screen yeah so that was that was uh, Migo on Morstown. Um, that was Migo 1.0 with the first time ever the Migo 1.0 uh, tablet user experience. It's not the handheld user experience. Uh, it's not the netbook user experience. This is brand new. You'll notice uh, capacitive support there, multi-touch support, the two uh, operating modes: the easy mode and the panel mode. So that's uh, Migo moving along pretty quick there. Um, thanks to uh, Joanna Stern of Engadget for getting us that uh, little uh, hands-on time. This is Chippy, UMSupportal and carrypad.com at Copytex in Taipei.